Picture this. You're seated at a long table. Your seat is stiff, flat, and backless plastic, colored a dingy blue. As you shift in the attempt to find comfort, the student-sized seat creaks in protest. The long table in front of you was cleaned with an unknown chemical that left behind a residue and a faint odor that will make you nauseous over the course of the three hours you'll sit at this cramped cafeteria table. Papers rustle and phones ding quietly as the speaker at the front of the room clicks to slide number eight out of infinity while they drone on in monotone. A small beam of light captures your attention and you watch as tiny bits of dust shift in synchronicity. You remember watching a dust moat in a sunbeam like that in your home as a child while your cat lay in the warm pool of light at the bottom. A soft smile reaches your lips, but your colleague draws you out of this daydream when she taps on your shoulder to ask if you have another pencil. You dig in your bag to retrieve a 0.7 millimeter Bic mechanical pencil and lime green. When you hand it to her, you bump your phone and its lock screen awakens. The time is 8.33 a.m. You have been in this professional learning for three minutes. It's going to be a long day. Let's face it, the workshop model of professional learning doesn't work. Attention span keeps getting shorter, adult learners have different needs from one another, and sit and get learning just doesn't work. I used to try to have this Pollyanna view of workshop style professional learning. I thought, I'm going to go in and do my absolute best to learn at least one new thing to implement in my classroom. One new idea in eight hours. Is that an effective use of time? What if you could learn and implement one new thing from a 30-minute session in the middle of your workday? What if you could do this once per quarter and really hone in on growing a few personalized skills of your choosing? I'm here to tell you that it's possible. According to the Mirage, districts are making a massive investment in teacher improvement. This investment is far larger than most people realize. In spite of these efforts, most teachers do not appear to improve sustainably from year to year, even though many have still not mastered critical skills. When teachers do improve, we're really unable to link their growth to any particular development strategy. And finally, school systems are not helping teachers understand how to improve, or even really telling them that they have room to improve at all. We bombard adult learners with help, but it's not helpful. My own teaching journey truly follows these findings. I spent my first six years teaching affluent middle school children. I grew a lot during that time, as most teachers do. According to the Mirage, most of the teachers in the districts they studied did improve substantially during those early years. This pattern has been documented by many researchers and reflects a natural learning curve. Around year six, I felt an itch to change. Because of this, I decided to try my hand at teaching elementary students. I also ended up in a school where 75% of the students were on free and reduced lunch. Needless to say, I felt like I was back at square one professionally. Once I felt like I plateaued at that experience, I moved again, this time to a mostly ELL all-girls middle school. I realize now that I kept changing because I didn't feel like I was growing. What do teachers really need to continue to grow professionally? Well, what does anyone really need? Daniel Pink said that people do their best work and feel the most fulfilled when they have three things. Autonomy, that is self-direction. You probably want to do something interesting. Let me get out of the way, is what he said. In other words, don't micromanage. Mastery, that is the urge to improve and get better at stuff. Personally, I think that's why I kept switching gears. Finally, a purpose, something transcendent, making a contribution to something bigger than yourself. What does this look like for adult learners? Here are the five qualities of effective professional learning. Number one, teachers need time. Extend the duration of professional learning to weeks or even months. It should be significant and ongoing and really allow time for teachers to learn the strategy 
and grapple with the struggles of implementation. Number two, collaboration. Provide ongoing support for teachers during the implementation stage, specifically with peers, with intentional guidelines, and with professionals such as coaches and mentors. Number three, teachers need active learning. Go and show. Active application of ideas, methodologies, and strategies. Number four, teachers need support. You can use modeling and or mentoring for this, and you can use mentor teachers or professional coaches. Finally, number five, encourage authentic projects. It should be based either on teacher's discipline or based on their grade level, and it should be specific to what the teacher is. Meet the teacher where they are. It's estimated that the difference between having a good teacher and having a bad teacher can exceed one grade level equivalent in annual achievement growth. Meanwhile, after five years, teacher growth is minimal, if at all. Why do we continue to pretend that sit and get professional learning works? What might professional learning look like? Maybe instead of a room full of colleagues learning the same information, you attend a brief meaningful introduction with an intentionally chosen peer group that lasts 15 minutes. Then, you and your peer group discuss specific data and lessons in a guided PLC. Next, maybe you watch a mentor teacher teach a lesson that you need some help with. You immediately take that lesson back to the classroom and implement it. Then, a coach or mentor provides feedback. Finally, you end your day back in a five-minute PLC where you discuss and write to connect and reflect. Over the course of the next few weeks, a coach meets with you to continue to help you grow in specific, measured ways. What if that was considered the norm? Time, collaboration, active learning, support, and authentic projects. We really can give teachers what they need. Thank you.